What's going on everybody, Mortem here, this time bringing you a guide to the factions of Celasta, Crown of the Magister. Now a couple of things to know right off the bat. Factions in this game are primarily just vendors that have a reputation system attached to them. If you're looking for like choices and stuff and choosing this faction over this one and it leading to a different outcome, this isn't for you. This is primarily gaining reputation with a faction so they sell you better stuff and which factions you can max out your reputation with is limited by a system we'll get into shortly. Now that said, the six factions of the game are the Principality, the Scavengers, the Arcanaeum, the Tower of Knowledge, the Circle of Danatar, and the Antiquarians. Now the Principality is the main story faction. You can't miss, you know, leveling that up, so to speak. You'll get reputation for them simply by completing main story stuff. Then there's the scavengers. They are main story related. The scavengers will basically go into a map after you've cleared it, bring back everything you didn't pick up, and then sell it for gold. That way you don't miss any money basically ever. And in doing that, as well as side quests, you'll gain reputation with the scavengers, making them also pretty impossible to miss. And then that leaves us with our four factions that actually serve as vendors. But before we get into that, let's talk about how we actually gain reputation with these people. While we are out and about in the world exploring areas for the story and everything, we can come across certain items of interest. You'll know you found them because usually they're like prominent statues and stuff that are then interactable. They will require you in conversation to pass a skill check related to whatever that item is. And if you pass it, your character will then kind of explain what they're looking at. And then moreover, you'll get an item in your inventory. These items are faction items. Basically, you need to turn these into the factions to then gain reputation. However, you can't even do that until you find the crown from the Crown of the Magister title. Until then, these people won't even talk to you, so you have to advance the story at least that far to interact with the four vendor factions. But once you get to that point, you can then start handing in these items as you find them, and you'll know which items you can give to which faction because the item tells you as you mouse over them. And then you can increase your reputation that way, as well as doing side quests from the bulletin board in the main hub. Because there's a bulletin board, you can pick up side quests. This will also give you reputation with the associated faction as well. Now, with that out of the way, let's talk about why you would want to increase reputation with one faction over another. Because remember, you can't max out all of them, at least not currently. Now, the Arcanaeum has its vendor inside the inn in the main hub. This guy sells primed equipment and scrolls. Primed equipment is probably the important thing here, as most of the vendors sell scrolls. But primed equipment is basically equipment that you can use in your enchanting crafting. Now, it's not the only thing. You'll, of course, need the recipe as well as the actual enchanting items. The equipment that you enchant is primed equipment. That's how it comes up in the UI. And that's what the Arcanaeum sells. Then we have the Tower of Knowledge. Their vendor is located near the main, like, trading square of the main hub. Which, keep in mind, you can just bring up the map and all of these vendors have their faction icon over their head on their map in the main hub. But the Tower of Knowledge sells crafting scrolls, like recipes to craft scrolls with, as well as poison recipes, smithing recipes for things like just regular arrows or flaming arrows, crossbow bolts, stuff like that. So the Tower of Knowledge is very much so a crafting focused vendor with a lot of the recipes that you need to craft being able to be found with the Tower of Knowledge. Then we have the Circle of Danatar. Their vendor is located in this big circle area of the main hub right next to the mayor, weirdly enough. But they sell magic weapons and armor as well as ready-to-go scrolls. Circle of Danatar is definitely one of the ones to keep an eye on because, again, they sell magic weapons and armor, which, unless you want to enchant stuff yourself, is one of the most reliable ways to get good items in the game. And that leaves us with the Antiquarians. So these guys are right next to the government building where the factions all meet for the main quest stuff, and their vendor is right near that building. The Antiquarians primarily sell magical accessories, like versus weapons and armor. So this guy sells like, you know, bracers, gloves, belts, that kind of thing. As well as a few crafting supplies for enchanting. Not a lot by any means. There's actually a lot more enchanting stuff that you would need than what this guy has, but he does sell a few of them, so definitely worth mentioning. There you go. There is kind of a guide to the faction system in Celasta, what each vendor sells, how you increase reputation with them. So I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please remember to like, comment, subscribe, all that YouTube jazz. But regardless of any of that, truly, just thank you so much for watching. May you wander in wisdom and have an amazing day.